So you know it's time to create your LLC and you're scrolling through Facebook and you see an ad for LegalZoom. Create your LLC for as low as $149 plus filing fees. Should you follow that link? Should you run far away from it? That's exactly what we're going to cover in this week's episode of Ask Kiff. Hi, I'm Tiffany Staley, founder of The Artist JD, a place designed to add ease to the legalese of running your creative business. This week's question comes to us from Angela in Minnesota. She asks, is LegalZoom bad? I've heard good stories about it and I've heard terrible stories about it. So I wanna start off by what LegalZoom is. LegalZoom is a way that makes it simpler and easier for you to fill out forms. It's not a replacement for working one-on-one with a lawyer. It just is a service that takes all of those confusing government forms and says, here's where you need to fill in the blanks and here's examples of what you might put in those blanks. When you use their services, all they're going to do is verify that it looks like you put the right information in the right box. They're not going to say, Kevin, maybe you should have done this, or "Um, I don't think that's right. Now there is services you can add to that $149 fee that are going to function more like a lawyer to kind of help talk you through things and make sure that you're filling them out properly. But when you take advantage of those $149 services, all they're gonna do is scan down and say, yep, that looks like the right kind of information that's supposed to be in those fields, and then ship off the paperwork. They're also going to not have any sort of customized information or any sort of Um, value ads that are specific to the kind of business you're going to run. They're working on a volume basis and so their value add is making forms easy to fill out. It's not, if you're an artist, this is the kinds of things that you might want this form to be on this form. When you reach out and work one-on-one with an attorney, you're going to find someone who specializes in the kind of business you run. When I'm wearing my hat as Kiffany the lawyer, I'm only working with small creative business owners. I'm not working with landscapers. I'm not working with other kinds of small businesses. And so I know the nuances of exactly what a creative business needs and the right kind of questions to ask. So that's the other downside of LegalZoom. So yes, There are times that I tell people that they call me and they say, this is my budget, this is what I need. And I would, I will tell them if that's your budget and that's very simple thing is what you need, then LegalZoom might be a good option. But there are certain times that I say far, run far, far, far away from LegalZoom. If you are creating an LLC with a business partner, I wouldn't recommend LegalZoom because an attorney and having someone on your team to help you talk through roles and responsibilities, what's going to happen when your business partner decides to change direction or has to leave the business for one reason or another, All of those kinds of things, having a teammate who can help you talk through those things as business partners is really essential. If you are filing a trademark, I am very anti-DIY for business owners to file their own trademarks. Are there business owners who do it successfully? Yes. But are you going to have a much stronger trademark and have a less likelihood of wasting money if you spend money on an attorney? Yes. I cannot tell you the number of creative business owners that have filed trademarks through LegalZoom and then get an office action and then come to me and I say, well, either it's going to cost you more than it would have cost in the first place for me to file this trademark to fix what you did wrong, or I'm going to tell them, I'm sorry you wasted your money. You're never going to be able to get this trademark. So there are times when making the $149 investment in LegalZoom versus the couple, several hundred dollar investment in an attorney isn't your smartest move. And the wisest long-term investment for your business is hiring an attorney today. Next week, we're going to cover a really good topic. You've come up with a great phrase. You've put it on a t-shirt. Can you go down to the trademark office and trademark that? Got a question you want me to cover in an upcoming episode? Leave it in the comments below. Before you go, make sure you check out the playlist above. That's where I've curated all the Ask Kiff episodes to date. 
and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel so you can get notified each time a new episode drops. Thanks so much for tuning in 